This video has been very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. I didn't realize how far over I had set up this camera angle. Hi, welcome to a week in the life. I wanna show y'all a full week of what I get up to. Uh, this week's actually gonna be quite, kind of a lot of stuff going on this week. So, well, okay, I say a lot of stuff. I don't really have that much going on. I have a callback that I'm doing on Thursday. Um, and then I also need to like, I need to draw today, but I also need to do like crochet stuff. So I'm working on a crochet project. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it in this video because it's going to be in its like own dedicated video. So technically I'm gonna be filming two videos at the same time, which I've never ever done before. Um, and like, I'm thinking about Bernadette Banner and she films like three or four videos at once, which like, blow I don't understand how she does that. Um, but I think I'm gonna be filming these two videos at once, but I kind of wanted to just like bring y'all along for a week uh, and like, just just come along pretty much. Like I'm gonna try and not, um, there's like a part of my brain where it's like, this is gonna be an authentic, raw, real look at what it is to be an independent, a freelance illustrator, whatever. And it's, it's not that, but <laughs> sometimes I, don't film on days where I'm like, I really, like, I feel really shitty today. I like don't want to film, I don't want to be on camera. Um, but I'm gonna even film on those days, even if I don't talk, I still want to film on them. Cause I want to film every day this week so I can just like show you guys what's up. And also this will help keep me accountable. So that way I like actually do things. So that way at the end of the video, I can be like, hey, look, <laughs> we did stuff together. I can actually do things. I just had a meeting with a therapist this morning I'm just, you know, in that ADHD bureaucratic nightmare um, of trying to get treated. <laughs> but I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to get back on Adderall, essentially. <sighs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of hurdles I have to jump over before I can get to that point. And I'm going to be going home a little early today because I actually need to film an audition um, that I forgot to film this weekend. I try really hard to not work on weekends. Um, and so like, even if I have an audition to film or whatever, I'm like, if I can get away with the not, with filming this not on a weekend, and if I can film this on a weekday instead, that would be ideal because my weekends are kind of sacred. I don't do anything <laughs> on the weekends. All I do on the weekend is crochet and play video games. And it's wonderful. Oh, and Connor and I have movie nights on Saturdays, which is great. Oh, we started season two of Beastars on Saturday, we're only two episodes in. Oh my God, that show is so buck wild. There was one part where Legoshi like turns, or like where Legoshi like really quickly like turns around and like punches the wall next to his bed. Cause there's like something in the walls and he could hear it. And so he just like quickly turns around and just like punches the wall so it cracks. And Connor and I were both like, <gasps> which is, it's just, <laughs> It's a wild show. We also need to finish Jujutsu Kaisen. We're only like five episodes in. Um, if y'all have watched Jujutsu Kaisen, we've just gotten past the episode where like, like the two-parter where shit breaks so bad. And so now I'm just, we're like, we should probably keep watching, but we're too nervous too, I think. So um, let's see, it's 11.40. I have a little packed lunch with me. So um, probably gonna eat that. On this crochet thing that I'm working on, I'm working from a, written pattern from the first time. I usually work from like video tutorials. And so um, I've pretty much frogged like, I frogged the majority of the rows that I had done because one side was really straight, but the other side was on a very gentle slope this way, which means that I was, I was, I, I, which means I was missing stitches somewhere, which is weird because as far as I can tell, my stitch count never changed. So, I basically just frogged it all. And like, it's a lot of lost time, but I'm just like trying to think of it as an experience. And technically this project like doesn't really have a deadline. I'm just impatient and I want to get it done. Um, Cause it's my first like big crochet project, but I'm trying to make sure that I do it right. Because on the first part I messed up really bad, but I have to just live with it. And so I'm like, well, if I have the ability to be better now it's going to be. So I'm going to be working on this a little bit before lunch. And then I think after lunch, I'm probably gonna be drawing because I need to, I need to draw my Patreon stuff and order that. I need to do my Patreon reward stuff and order that before the end of the month. I, I need to. <laughs> I 
because uh, if I don't do that soon, it'll come in too late because my stickers take about like two weeks to come in. So priority today is to do the stickers, I think. Um, and then I think I'm actually gonna use my sketchbook page that I did to for, one, for the postcard. And then I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do for the printable this month. And I think I wanna do a phone background because I haven't done a phone background in a long time. And I think that could be fun. Um, I also haven't drawn in like a week and a half, maybe. Again, I've been in like full crochet brain. So uh, yeah, the drawing will be fun. <laughs> so welcome to uh, a week in the life, I guess. Uh, we'll see what happens. Cool, sick. Do you wanna see the lunch I packed for myself? Like the little 12 year old I am. So first, we have goldfish, classic. I have some yogurt, yumbo. I have some strawberries in here. I have a PB and J in here. And in here I have some uh, sour patch strawberry, which are God tier candies. Like Sour Patch Watermelon is still, I don't know, these are real close. So I'm gonna snack on this. And because uh, I had a, like I said, I had a pumpkin spice latte this morning and because I had it on an empty tummy, it's not sitting very well. So I'm gonna have some food, which I know will make me feel better. So, um, yep, these are my favorite kinds of lunches to make for myself because they're easy and they're yummy and they're comforting. <sighs> I have the appetite of a child. And you know what? That's fine. I grabbed my new color, which will be this linen here. I can now yarn over and pull up a loop in these last two weeks. Hello, hello. It's VoiceOver Cheyenne here to bring you our ad break. This video has been very kindly sponsored by the folks over at Squarespace. Y'all know the deal. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform where you can build the website, portfolio, online shop of your dreams. Whatever it is that rests in your heart, you can make it a reality with Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for the past four-ish years now to run my own online shop and website, and I've truly loved using them. They have loads of powerful e-commerce tools that make running your online shop a breeze. They have tons of highly customizable templates. You don't need to know anything about code in order to make your website look rad. They have 24 seven customer support. So if you need their help, they're there for you. And for my fellow artsy folks, they also have this awesome responsive image scaling. So whatever sort of artwork graphics, what have you, you throw up on your site, you don't need to worry about resizing them because they're always going to look good. It's great. If you yourself have been looking to build an online shop, portfolio, website, what have you, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you are ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Cheyenne Barton for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you again to Squarespace. And now on with the video. exercises that you can do by freehand sketching is one minute croquis. There are great resources online for one minute still life poses in either YouTube videos with pictures of real people or websites with 3D models.
set up this like okay i set it up on twitch i don't know how well it's working but okay it's really important own book right there <laughs> whoa toasty pancake thank you for the tier one race up organization by force see i'm like incredibly disorganized and not a cleanly Okay, so my glasses are supposed to be um, non-glare, but clearly that's not the case. Also, it's supposed to be cloudy today. I can see the sun. I can see blue sky. <laughs> I've been robbed. Today, our main objective is to draw a Patreon sticker uh, because I have to get that ordered today or else it will not come in time for the end of the month. I'm already gonna have to do like, um, kind of a rush service, um, which is gonna be expensive, but that's my own fault. I need to do Patreon sticker. Um, I also need to do my Patreon like freebie for the month. Um, whether that be, I think I want it to be a phone background because I made this very cute painting yesterday. Um, and so I'm turning that into a phone background. Uh, I'm turning that into a phone background for Patreon. Um, but I might also make a second one and then I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the postcard if I want to do that print as well If I want to do the cute cozy lesbians for that print or if I want to scan in a page for my sketchbook I might just ask my patrons what they would Like Basically, obviously the cozy lesbians are way more like Seasonal but a lot of people expressed interest in one of my sketchbook pages that I filmed for my last video um so might also offer that as a print. We'll see, I'll ask my patrons, I'll see what they say. Also going to make a little bit more progress on this project, which I just remembered that I can't talk about in this video because I'm making another video about it. <laughs> Gonna be doing that, just lots of scribbling. I also think I need to go grocery shopping today. I really don't wanna go grocery shopping today. Or if I do a really small, if I do like half a run today and half a run tomorrow, I just, I, I realize I just don't like grocery shopping. Grocery shopping used to be one of my favorite things in the world <laughs> because basically I just like, put my little headphones in. I put like usually like BTS or a musical or something on. And I basically just like sing and hum to myself as I walk around the aisles and like pick everything. But obviously now with like COVID and stuff, there's like a certain added level of, there's a certain added level of obviously like anxiety that goes into grocery shopping. Um, of course, I always grocery shop with my mask on, but it's still like, it's not like a fun leisurely place for me to be any, for me to be anymore. I very much have to like get in and get out. Um, and so I don't like doing it anymore, which is a huge bummer. So uh, we'll see, maybe I could do half a run today, half a run tomorrow. I also, sorry for the yawning. I guess my PSL hasn't kicked in yet, but also um, I'm looking at Free Little Peach, Peach Tober. For y'all that don't know, Free Little Peach, Sean does the most like she does these just incredible little prompt lists every year and they're so good and it's called Peachtober. And I have never successfully done like a month long art prompt. I've tried several times. I've tried to do Inktober a couple times. I tried to do Misadventure May, which is another amazing prompt list designed by my incredible friend um, at Maddie Draws. If y'all do not follow him, you really should. But I think that like, I've never done it before and I'm trying to think about like what I have going on, going on in October and if that would be feasible. Connor and I are going on a short trip, but I think that even then, like I was planning on drawing on said trip anyway. And so I think that it would still work. I would have to do some things in advance. I would probably want to draw thumbnails in advance. I don't know. I'm also just like, I'm like, I want to challenge myself, but I'm also like, I don't want to burn myself out. <laughs> and it's that constant balance. So main, okay, but this is something I can think about at another time. Main priority for today is Patreon stickers and basically just figuring out 
like Patreon reward details for today. So we're gonna do that. Cool. Because um, it wasn't all famous people. Uh, it was nice to have Fionn and uh, it's nice to have them on the show chatting with them. And then uh, immediately after I did my show,
Yay! I finished all my stuff, so I ordered my stickers, which is gonna be that super cute clown friend that I really love. And then the postcard is just going to be that, I just went ahead and decided it was going to be the sketchbook page because then, because again, I have a little like cute cozy lesbians for my freebie. And I feel like it's a little too redundant to also use them for the postcard. Again, like I thought I would, I had to choose like expedited shipping um, on stuff, which is again, my own fault. I, I try to order, I try to design and order everything usually in the first, by the end of like the first week of the month. Then that way they arrive by the middle of the month so I have plenty of time to pack stuff. I can't even remember what happened at the beginning of this month, but as it sometimes does, time got away from me. Um, but it is 2.45 and I think I'm done. I'm gonna double check, but I think I'm pretty much done with my to-dos. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna crochet. I'm just gonna crochet and work on that, so. So for this video, I started doing like a little weekly vlog last week, which you've already seen. You saw like the bits and pieces of that. Um, because I didn't, I don't think I did, I don't think I, I didn't film anything on Thursday because Thursday I um, had a, another callback that I was just completely torn up over and it was like two days before my period started. And so like the two days before my period starts, I'm like, I'm, I'm basically inconsolable. Like I get my, since I started Wellbutrin, my anxiety has been like really under control basically. Um, but essentially, <laughs> Like the two days before I start, I'm just, I, I, if I get, I get stuck in my emotions a lot easier. And so basically like I had a call back that didn't go as well as I wanted it to. And, I, and then I was just miserable and completely useless for the rest of the day. And that feeling carried over into Friday. So I don't think I filmed anything on Friday either. I think I filmed like one little clip of me like setting up my camera because I got some new stuff for my streaming setup. I was hoping to do like a little week in the life vlog, but I didn't I feel like since I didn't finish the week last week, I want to finish the week this week. So um, this week I have dubbed my, I have dubbed it <laughs> Operation Clear My INU Task List, which an INU, an INU task is an important, not urgent task. So basically something that is important and something that I need to get done, but it's not urgent. So for me, that basically means that these are tasks that end up never getting done because there's always something else that's more important. There's always something else that takes precedent. But I was like, you know what? I have quite a bit of stuff on this list. So I'm just gonna get her done. Um, I actually have it all written down in my Notion. Um, let me see if I can show you. Hello, this is Editing Cheyenne coming to you from the future. The future for this video, my current present and your past. Isn't time so strange? Anyway, so I thought that I had a clip of me like actually walking through my little Discord screen, um, but I don't know where that clip has gone. I can't find it on my um, memory cards. So I wanted to show you my Notion setup. So I actually used to have this like inside little, like inside there are little pages where essentially like, I would, you know, click on it and then it would open up into a page. I'm trying to see if I have them in here. Do I have them? I think I put them in my archive. Or like, yeah, so I would click on personal tasks and this would like pop up in like its own separate little thing on my dashboard. But um, I realized that if I cannot see something, if it is not immediately visible to me on my homepage, I will not read it. So um, I fixed it by moving my INU tasks uh, basically into a little middle column. And then I have my weekly thing over here. I'm still trying to figure out what my Notion setup is. I haven't really got it yet, but this is my little INU task I wanted to show you. Um, you know, important, not urgent tasks. And it's funny because I didn't do a lot of, I, I, I didn't do a lot of these. I did do the stuff that was going to take me a really long time. Like I did the stuff, you know, for Ikea 
and I did work a little bit on Discord things, but the majority of this unfortunately does not get done by the end of this video. And you know what? That's okay, because thinking that I could do all of this in a week is uh, asking for an incredibly tall order for myself. So, um, yeah, this is my INU task. So these are priority tasks, which is basically like, which covers every, I still, like, I need to call some ADHD healthcare places. And this covers um, whether they're personal work tasks, what have you. Uh, my INU tasks, again, important, not urgent tasks. I'm thinking that I tried for a while to essentially where I dedicated Fridays to working on these. And I think that that actually worked out quite well for me. So I think I want to implement that again. And then I have some personal INU tasks. Um, I have some clothes that I want to mend. Uh, there was some stuff that I needed to take to Goodwill, which I already did. We wanted to order some stuff from Target for our kitchen, which I did, so that's sick. Um, but having it like this means that basically I can just move it into my week. Um, and then I can actually, and if I don't finish it that week, I can move it back, move it into the next week, etc, etc. So, yeah. This is what I wanted to show you, and it is what I completely, I've lost the footage for. Also, of course, I have Sora here because he's my darling boy this is also my like streaming setup i stream on twitch by the way twitch.tv slash cheyenne barton um i've been playing a lot of video games lately i also did a crochet stream recently um i usually stream like once or twice a week so if you want to see me in action head over there i look like a real i'm a real gamer girl as they say um so yeah this is my rough always a work in progress notion setup and now i send you back to video cheyenne i hope i hope she's doing all right <laughs> hello 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 friends uh it is Tuesday, and today we are going to Ikea. <laughs> we are gonna go return a bunch of stuff, and then um, we're gonna go wandering down the miles and buy some home organization things. Uh, Connor and I need, it's mostly just stuff for our kitchen, but I also wanna get stuff so that I can organize my yarn collection a little bit better because I have that big yarn shipment for all my holiday projects coming in tomorrow. So, um, we're gonna go do that. It is also so sunny outside and of course I've lost my sunglasses because that's just what happens to me. So I may try and find, I have like a really ugly pair of sunglasses that I might just wear to protect my delicate little eyeballs. But um, Sophie's here. Hi little bean. Hi ma'am. You're so brown in the sunshine. She's perfect. Aren't you perfect? Hi. <laughs> and then Connor's tip tip. Oh. And then Connor is tip tip tapping away. Tippy tap. Tippy tap. I love you, baby. I love you. I'm slowly starting to get into 17. Starting to stand them, if you will. Uh, maybe not stand. Um, not yet. I can't call myself a stand yet, but they're very good uh these are the glasses i was talking about i look like crowley from um good omens um i look like crowley from good omens uh connor said i look like a divorcee because i'm wearing like a knit cardigan and i have like a cute little floral screw on i look like a librarian from the neck down but from the neck up <laughs> i just look like a uh a, a demon you know fun little snake demon but i have to wear them because i i my little eyeballs are so sensitive and it is so bright out today, so I gotta protect myself. But I'm gonna jam out to 17 and um, drive to Ikea. Also, do you like this? This is how I had to arrange my, this was the only way that I could fit the shelf in here. I had to literally just cram it over my headrest, but it's very snug, so it's not sliding around, um, which I know is Connor's worry when he first saw it, but it, like it literally is so, it's not going anywhere. We're gonna go to Ikea. 
buy stuff and then after ikea i think that we are gonna go i think we'll probably go to goodwill because i have some stuff at the back of the car that i need to drop off and i honestly i do have some stuff in the house but i want to try and put that up on our neighborhood buy nothing before i take it to goodwill so cool little adventure you and me so i got all my returns done yay and now we are gonna get to go on an adventure in the showroom or i guess it's not the showroom it's the um you know it's the bit in ikea where hang on i know that people are gonna mock me for vlogging but it's the bit in ikea where um they sell all the stuff that you could ever want in the world for like two dollars and you end up buying a lot of it because you're like hey, it's only two dollars and then you know it's like a target kind of problem i'm not gonna try to buy too much because i am trying really hard to like work on like you know being mindful of my consumerism practices so i'm gonna do my damnedest to not get distracted and only buy the stuff that connor and i are planning on cool god it's so bright have to deal with this little like oh my god this little like bokeh lens flare thing I think it's because my camera lens is dirty and the sun's cutting in I don't know maybe it's artistic who knows um also listen I'm gonna get DMCA'd that's fine um Muna please I'm also a, I'm a queer femme don't <laughs> Don't take my video down. So I didn't find the stuff that we were looking for. Um, I think that what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to order it online from Target. I'm basically just trying to, Jordan and Jaren, I really love the way they've organized their kitchen. Jordan was telling me that they get their little shelf divider things from Target. So I will probably just have to order it from Target. Um, but I was looking for, so I have the little like, I have the Kale shelves, like the little cubby shelves that everyone and their mom has, but they, Ikea has these very handy little like cross-shaped dividers, which I thought would be really good for my yarn storage, but alas, um, they are, those are unavailable currently. So I am basically just trying to figure out the best way to store my yarn. I got three things from Ikea today. I got a cushion for my chair at the studio, so I don't have to sit on that wood ass chair every single day. I got a cute little red cushion. Um, and then I got two little baskets, um, which I think that I will be able to implement at home. And if I can't implement them at home, I know that I will be able to implement them in the studio, so I don't think they're gonna go to waste. Um, but now I'm gonna go to Goodwill. Well, actually, I'm gonna stop at the studio first. Um, my AirPods are out of battery. And like, I was so looking forward to just wandering around Ikea while listening to, while listening to BTS, but my, <laughs> but my AirPods are dead. So I'm going to go to the studio to charge them and like tunnel on the computer for a bit. And then my main objective at Goodwill is honestly to find a chair. I need to find a second chair for my office. I'm gonna drop off a couple boxes that I have in the back. And then, um, again, I guess like, just keep my peepers peeped for anything that, you know, sparks immense joy. Um, I was also able to stock up on. I got, um, I got a little bit of fladesh. Got a little fladedrika. Och, um, I got some Cafe Ria, which I think is just like, I don't know what that means, but I basically got uh, little ginger thins. They were the organic ones because the regular ones were in a really big package and I was like, we don't need that many ginger snaps. Um, and then I also got Marabu and then I got Marabu. And I also got some little dog scooties. But um, yeah, I got some like random ass little dog scooties. So just cute little sour candies. So, um, Yep. Time to drive. Hi, happy Wednesday. Um, I'm having a bit of a shit day. <laughs> I'm 
being honest with you. Um, I think oh, I've had a little bit of a cry this morning and I think that like I'm doing the thing again where I'm basically unnecessarily stressing myself out even though I don't need to and all of the stress that I am currently experiencing is self-inflicted and mostly unwarranted because that's what I do. <laughs> I know that this week was like I and you clear task week, but I think that today, um, today I actually have a call back this afternoon. I'm calling at 5.30, which is pretty late. Um, but I have a call back at 5.30 and I actually need to tape an audition today, so I need to do a self-tape today, so um, just because doing self-tapes at home is a lot easier because I have like my ring light and um, it's not quite as echoey. <laughs> And we have like a blank wall in our bedroom that I always film auditions against. So I'm probably gonna be here out and about in the world until my computer's about to die. Hang on. So I think I'm gonna be hanging out and about in the world until probably about three and then I'll head home. Um, and so I still have Thursday and Friday to like finish stuff, but I think this might actually be my, um, I think this might be my last day with you because I need to, um, I need to edit this video to send it to the kind folks of Squarespace. But I think that today I am actually a very, very kind follower named Kitty was ever so kind as to send me um, these beautiful glass dip pins um, because they heard me talking about them and they offered to send me some that they had lying around and so they sent me two and they're so exquisitely beautiful so thank you so much kitty i'm so grateful and i am really excited to try them out um again i wanted to try these because i've seen sophie Boop pike make such beautiful use of them and i think that because i love drawing with ink or like because i love drawing with pen and stuff but i've been getting a little bit bored just drawing with like, you know, black pens. I think that using this could be a really fun way to change things up. And I got all that ink from the Hey Color box set, so I think it could be fun. So I got these two beautiful pens. I think I'm gonna give it a go. I think I just need to do a little bit of journaling, like old school journaling, maybe figuring out a notion. Cause my whole thing is, is that I have a lot of, so like I wanna do Peachtober, right? Which is its own set of challenges. But I also really wanna do um, I have this like long-term crochet project that I'm making another video about that I want to do and then I have so many crochet gifts that I want to make so or like so many gifts that I want to make for Christmas and the thing about hand making gifts especially crochet stuff you have to start that really early and I have a huge shipment of yarn coming in today um, and so I have a feeling that probably a lot of my incoming videos are just probably going to deal a lot around um, crochet stuff, but I hope that's okay. Oh, and yesterday, Ikea haul went fine. Like I said, I got those two little baskets, um, which I'm gonna try and use to organize our, uh, organize my yarn stuff, I think. Um, I also have the little red cushion in my car that I actually forgot to bring in, so I need to bring that in. And then um, from Goodwill, uh, I got a couple things that I'm actually returning. Like I got a chair that I'm not using and I got some plates that we don't need, but I did get this gorgeous red soup mug um, that is so beautiful and I got this awesome, I got this beautiful blue porcelain bowl um, that is, that basically just, it's like a bowl plate, it's a shallow bowl. Um, it reminds me of the, it's pretty much just like the ramen bowls that my parents have at home that I believe they bought while they were living in Singapore. Um, and the little clear dots on the sides is rice embedded in the porcelain. At least, I'm pretty sure it is. Like, I don't know if this is genuine or not, but sure does, sure does look an awful lot like the ones that my family has back home. So I bought it just because it was so pretty. And then I bought these two really pretty tins. I think that the farmhouse tin will probably be for storing like holiday cookies. I really love making Danish butter cookies um, for the holidays because they're so easy to make. And they're so good. Um, they're also actually pretty easy to make like vegan and gluten free. Um, so maybe I'll try my hand at vegan ones this year. Uh, Cause you basically just replace the butter with vegan butter. Um, 
but they're so easy to make uh, and you can just make a bunch of them <laughs> and so I think that having that it's a very cute tin so it'll be good to have a place to store holiday cookies and then I got this like really small purple tin that I think could be good for either art supplies or crochet stuff it's like a very good size so um, we will see but um, for now I'm almost done with this particular part of this crochet project, so I think I might actually finish this. And then I think I may get myself a coffee, and then I may come back and just work with my cool new pins for a little bit. Again, I just feel... I know I'm like unnecessarily stressed, and so I think I... Oh, I think I just need to take the time to journal and write everything out, because I don't journal, and I know that it's helpful. So I'm gonna do that. Also, it was sunny this morning, but now it's all cloudy. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, cool. Yep. Great. Thanks. <laughs> I see you guys now just using this life of mine. Just trying to save this life. Well, it's not going to happen. Uh, it cannot be saved. Uh, uh, Jim Jabal, I'm back in the eight months. So how did you be here? Love me some Fall Guys. Have you played squad mode yet? Yes, I actually did do squads the other day with um, my lovely stream team, the biggest three us. Um, and I'd like to do it again, to be honest. Uh, MayQP7, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the sweet potato community. Slot makeover. Maybe I'll make the slot. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll make. Uh, let's try that again. Six. Maybe I will remake the slot mode in.
Thank you.